Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So in the previous video, we have uh, seen the concept of um, bubble sorts, insertion sort, and the selection sort. And we have seen the major problem with these three sorting algorithm is the time complexity will be O n square, which is like quite expensive. If you have uh, n number of elements and the number of elements are high, then in that case, all these sorting algorithms will start giving you O n square in the worst case. Now we really need a better sorting algorithm. So we are going to talk about merge sorting algorithm today, which is based on divide and the conquer. Conquer means the merge algorithm. So divide and conquer problems can be solved with the merge sorting, just like we have a binary search also. Merge sort is another example of a divide and conquer. And uh, what exactly divide and conquer says, first you divide the array into uh, two parts and then keep dividing into until you get one single uh, elements in the array. And then once all the divide part work is done, then you start merging along with the sorting. So let's see how to do this. So that's why this will be divided into two parts. First is divide and the conquer. Conquer means merge. So if you see that I have an array, this is completely unsorted from zero to six length is there. So total uh, zero to six uh, indexing is there. So total length of the array will be seven divided by two, which is equal to what? A uh, three here, not 3.5 because uh, both are integers, so 0.5 will be ignored. So let's see, I'm dividing into uh, two parts. So I'll say that let's divide it into two parts. First part this and second part will go here at the left hand side or the right hand side. So let's see, I'm taking this is uh, from here to here. And let's see, this is here to here. So here I'm writing, let's say this is 70, then 50, then 30, and then the 10 will come here. Then this is 20, then 40, and then 60 here. Okay. So perfect divided into two parts. Then again, I'm going to divide this section into left hand side section into two parts, and this will be into two parts. So first let's talk about it here. How many elements are there? Four. So four divided by two and here three divided by two. So four divided by two will give you what? It will give you two. It will give you one here. So I'll take it. Okay, fine. Let's write it 70, 50 here. And then this will be 30 and then 10 over here. Then uh, three elements are there, three divided by two. So let's divide it over here once again. This is zero and this is one. So let's see, I'll write 20 here, uh, 40 here, and then this will become uh, 60 here. So again, let's divide this part into two parts. So 70 will be separated and 50 will be separated here. Then again, will be divided into two parts. So here also two by two, this is also two by two. So I'm dividing into two parts here like this. So this is 30 and this is a uh, 10. Then again, 20 and 40. So this is a 20 and this will become 40. And then 60, I don't need to divide. It's already divided. It's only one single element is there. 60 is there. So what exactly we have done till here? It means the, all the divide part is done. So earlier elements was from here, 70 to 60. And then we have keep dividing into. So recursively, what we have to do when we write the code, we will be using the recursive uh, feature. And the recursively, we will just keep dividing into by two. So if n number of elements are there, we will keep divided by two. n number of elements are left again, divide by two. We have to keep dividing until we get the single array element. So what will be the time complexity only for the divide part? The time complexity will be what? n by two, then n by four, let's see n by eight like this. So let's see n divided by k times. So time complexity will be O of log n time. It will give it to you, right? Okay. Then this is the first part. Second part is that conquer. Conquer means merge. It means when you merge it, two arrays, when you merge it, please merge on the basis of sorted array. So I'm just going to merge these two parts, 70 and 50. So 50 is lesser than 70. So 50 I'll store first and then 70. Then again, I'm going to merge these two things. So 10 is small and then 30 is over here. And again, merging these two arrays, then 20 and then 40 here. And then for 60, I don't need to merge. So I'll write it as it is over here. Okay. Then again, I'm going to merge these two guys. So this is the size two and this is also size two. And let's see, this is zero and this is one. This is zero and this is one. And let's see, this is represented by I and this array is represented by J. So I'm going to compare all the elements of I with J. And I know that this after merging, this is going to give you the size of array size of four because uh, two elements are here and two elements are here. So obviously the overall resultant merge sorted array 
will be what the size of four. So here I'm writing, okay, 50 with a 10. So I'm writing 10 here. And then I'm writing, uh, let's see, after storing, it will be stored on the basis of sorted array. Then I'm comparing, let's see, uh, 50 with uh, 30. So 30 will come here. Then I'm writing 50 here. And then I'm writing 70 as it is over here. Okay, when we write the code, we'll just keep checking that, okay, how exactly we are going to sort and then we are going to merge it here. Just for the explanation point of view, when we divide these two uh, arrays, we are just merging on the basis of sorted. So remember merge, we have to do on the basis of sorting algorithm. So sorting process, we have to use it while merging. Then again, this is size of two and this is size of one. So one, two, and three, obviously we will get three elements in the resultant array. So here I'm writing, this will become 20, this is 40, and this is 60. Now, finally, we have these two arrays. Again, we are going to merge. So the size of this guy is uh, four, and then size of this array is uh, three. So resultant will be what, seven? So here I'm writing, let's see, one, then two, three, four, five, and six, and zero to seven elements will be stored. This is again, I'm saying I, and this is I'm saying J over here. This is zero, let's see one, this is two, this is three, then this is zero, one, and two. So we will keep checking all the elements of I with J. So when we uh, store them together in this particular array, then we have to keep storing on the basis of sorting mechanism. So I'm writing, let's see this 10, and then 20 will be given, then 30 will be given, then 40 here, then 50, then 60 will come here, and then finally 70 will come over here. So <clears throat> what do you see here? This is the completely a sorted array we are getting, right? So this is what, this is the conquer part, or I can say that keep merge here. So when you merge it, you have to keep sorted. Okay, so we have to write the sorting algorithm uh, with the merge whenever we have to compare uh, two elements. Let's see, we're comparing 50 with the 50 and 10 over here, then we will check 50 is greater than 10. Then we will first store 10 and so on like that. If you analyze, uh, the time complexity for uh, divide part, this is giving you log n. So this is what the divide section, which is giving you O of log n. This is for the conquer or merging. So this is giving you O of n part, because O of n are time complexity. So if you combine them together, if you write, okay, a divide is giving you O of log n plus merge means conquer, or I would say while merging, this is giving you O of n part. And then when I combine them together, it will start giving you O of n, the log n time complexity. And if you see the graph for O of log n as compared to O n square, then uh, for bubble sort, if you remember that we have seen if number of elements are available at the x axis, this is the input size of the element of the array. And this is a, a time or I would say the CPU computation. Let's see this is taking around five seconds, then 10 seconds, 50 seconds, 50 seconds, and let's see 100 seconds over here. And uh, O of N square will give, give you somewhere over here. So let's see this is O N square. And O of N log N will go over here like this, for example, N log N, and O of N will go here, let's see. Right. So, Obviously, O of n log n is far, far better than O n square. If you have, uh, let's see, somewhere around uh, here, let's see, 500 input elements are there. So for 500, O of n square will reach here and O n is reaching here. And when you connect with the y axis here, then let's see, this O of n is taking, let's see, starting with zero seconds. This is a five seconds. So let's calculate somewhere over here. Let's see, it's taking around 10 seconds. But this guy is taking around 20 seconds just to sort 500 elements. Now you can check when you reach when 1000 elements are there. So for 1000 elements, it will just take O of n log n, which is coming somewhere around. I mean, the, the graph wise is not exactly accurate, but somewhere around over here. So in that case, it might take, okay, let's say you're in 30 or 40 seconds, but you can imagine for the O n square, we don't have, uh, it will be very, very expensive because it will reach somewhere at the at very, uh, after let's see 100 or 400 seconds with O n square, uh, very expensive with O n square, but O of log n and log n, which is solving the problem. That's why, uh, very quickly. And then it's, that's why the merge sort is one of the quickest algorithm with respect to sorting.
problem with this merge sort is that the space complexity. See, if you see the divide problem, I mean, divide section part, this particular part, the first part, every time you have to divide into two parts, and then every time it's taking, creating a separate space, again, four arrays, again, individual arrays, which is taking one extra space over here. How many times? N number of times we are keep dividing here. So N number of times we are taking the space. So with the space complexity, if you talk about, this will give you the space of O of N here. Right. And uh, the space complexity, but the time complexity, if I'm talking about, this will give you O of N log N and O of log N will be in the best case also in the worst case also, or in the average case also, it will be O of N log N. Okay. So we will write the Java code also for this, but first, before that, we have to understand that how exactly the divide and conquer problem and the merge sorting algorithm is sorting the array. So this will be the unsorted array. Now we have uh, received the completely sorted array here like this. I hope this is clear. This is the exact same thing you can explain at a time of interview. Now I want you uh, pause the video, write the same Java code or Python code, whatever the language that you really want to pick, write the same code for this divide and then keep conquering, keep merging it here. And resultant should be the sorted array from your function. Okay, so that's all for this video. In the next video, I'll tell you the Java code is a solution for this also in the form of coding. And we will write multiple test cases. And let's see, we will try to debug the code also. And let's see how exactly it is working with the code.